All right, welcome back. And here we are doing some active stretching here, right? We're gonna check on the range of motion. So today's short video here is about range of motion. And right now I'm, I'm checking on my range of motion of the front and back of my shoulder and on my pectoral muscles, my chest muscles and my shoulder blades and trap muscles. So this is so important that we think about our range of motion. And when we, uh, when we look at what our range of motion is, we need to acknowledge where we are right now. So if I had some stiffness in my mid back that I couldn't move my, um, my shoulder forward or back that far, I would need to take that into account during my exercise. Does it mean I'm gonna not do my exercise? No, I'm gonna just watch that I don't do my exercise with the wrong weights or the wrong range, range of motion. So wrong weights being that if I'm using a weight now, if I go to do that resistance training work and, and I'm trying to uh, pull my shoulder blade back and do a row, but it's really stiff back there and I can't stretch it or flex it very well, I have to take that into account so I can get the best flex and stretch possible, but don't over strain anything. We don't want any connective tissue strains, muscle strains, any of that. We're working to get healthy here, right? We're working to get our muscles to reconnect and become really active and have a really strong, fast metabolism, active metabolism. So in order to do that, we need to get that muscles, all those muscles toned up. And what we want to look at with our range of motion is that um, just as we were doing earlier with a tricep extension, okay, after I warmed up, if I can't straighten my elbow all the way, that's okay. I can just shorten it up a little bit, but still stay strong and time under tension right now on that muscle. Now, if I can't keep that range of motion because the weight's too heavy and I can't push it down anymore, then I I'm, I'm just want to lighten the weight up. I want to make sure that I can go through the best range of motion possible with time under tension and making sure that I can get that active burn going and, and use what I can do right now today and then get it healthier. Now because of the, the anaerobic, that fast muscle that we're using, the strong muscle that we're using, to, uh, to put the pressure on, to make those muscles work, that causes some uh, blood pumping and some stress into those muscles. So now that tricep muscle should be stretched out a little bit afterwards, right? So we want to think about stretching out that muscle after we have done some work on it. So now we might just put the hand up and get that tricep to stretch out a little bit right in there on the back of the arm we just want to let it open up and at first we're going to have a sensation that it's a little bit tight and that's just our pain receptors in the muscle you know giving us a signal that hey you're getting a stretch now but we don't want to push it too hard right away wait about 10-15 seconds and then see if you can stretch it just a little bit more and open up that tricep a little bit more to make sure that that muscle is getting its pulling and stretching outward after we just flexed it in. So now I can feel that that muscle has a nice range of motion and I can, I can move it and I can feel it well and I'm going to go ahead and repeat that with the muscle finder often as possible, right? Every couple of days I'm trying to get those muscles to pump some, pump some blood to them. I want to burn that, blood, that muscle sugar down and get that balance to the blood sugar and, uh, and really pay attention the range of motion may change, but you're always trying to get the best range of motion with great muscle control and work on the best fine motor skills of mind muscle memorization of how well your body is getting itself reconnected and you're feeling and listening to what your body's doing. All right, so great job today and, uh, and get out there and really focus on that range of motion for every movement that you do and every joint they have so you can really zone into those muscles.